Silovu go mad in court. As INEC finally speaks on calls for tribunal to nullify his victory. Hey, you see what we are talking about? So you see, yesterday uh, I was on, um, I was with someone, someone and we are still discussing on this issue of presidential election. And then uh, the person said, my dear, what do you think about this presidential election and what will happen? I said, my dear, with the way I'm looking at this, Anik might at last bow to um, nullifying and also, you know, cancelling this election. You understand? <laughs> that is, by the way, anyway, my dear people, I greet you all this morning. It's a pleasure reaching out to you once again. Um, I tell you, it has been our nature to always um, be here to reach out to you. And um, we also want to thank you too, uh, at least for your own personal ideas and um, suggestions that you have been leaving out to us. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm looking at this very content. I tell you, it sounds very, very shocking. Very, very shocking. Um, you see, Tunubu, Tunubu, Tunubu. <laughs> it is a shocker, but a lot of persons don't really know. Oh, I tell you that whatever happens, happens for a reason. And I assure you that everyone will surely have his own cake at the end of the day. Let, let's quickly and check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. Nigerian Electoral Body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has broken its silence after presidential candidate petitioned the tribunal seeking the nullification of the Declaration of Palatinum of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the February 25th presidential election. Recall that Atiku Apubaka of the People Democratic Party, PDP, and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, LP, in separate petitions asked the presidential election petitions tribunal in Abuja to avoid Tunubu's emergence as president elect. In his petition marked, Atiku said the declaration of Tunubu as winner of the presidential election was invalid by reasons of non compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act 2022. He further argued that Tunubu election was invalid by reasons of corrupt practices and called for the withdrawal of the certificate of return that was issued to Tunubu by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. While in his petition, Matt Obi maintained that Tunubu was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast at the time of the election, alleging that there was rigging in 11 states. What else are we expecting, if not for the fact that truly, 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 true, the election was rigged? Everybody knows, so why are we beating around the bush for? Let us tell ourselves the truth. Call a spade a spade and do what we believe that is right. Nigeria, in fact, we are now a laughing stock. Maybe we don't know. Yes, we are now a laughing stock. They are now making a caricature of us because of what we have accepted as a result. You get it? And that's just it. So, my people, I'm not comfortable with what is going on. But um, with, with the way I'm looking at it, 
I tell you with the intervention of the foreign observers, this will not be accepted at the end. Because the people lamenting about this are in fact are much. Alright? Okay, so let's quickly hear from you, my people. Let's know what your take, what your opinion, and what your advice on all that has just been said right now. Maybe don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.